Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain the steps you need to take to snooze notifications you receive on your Android phone. Let's get straight into it. I'm on my phone and looking at a page view of some of my apps. A new study shows that on average, Android users receive about 146 notifications every single day. Now, not all these notifications are useful, of course, but some are. However, you don't always receive them at the right time, so it can be helpful to snooze notifications and receive them later in the day. By default, you can't snooze notifications on an Android phone. You need to turn this feature on. If I pull down from the top of the screen on my phone to display notifications, you can see this in the Fitbit notification shown on screen, where there's no option to snooze it. To turn the feature on, we need to open the Settings app on your phone. This app is shown on screen, but if you can't see it, you can quickly find it by searching for the app in the search bar shown at the bottom of this page. It's worth noting that you may have the same search bar in a different location on your phone, but it should be visible. Let's tap on the Settings app once to open it. A long list of options is then presented, but we're interested in the notification setting shown a little way down this page. Let's tap on that once to open it. The notification page allows you to review all of the notification settings for your phone, but I'm going to scroll to very near the bottom of this page. You'll see there is a setting here to allow notification snoozing, which is currently turned off. To turn that on, I'll tap on the option once. If I now return to my home screen and pull down from the top of the screen to show my notifications, I'll tap once on the notification that is shown. A new option is now presented to snooze this alert. Let's tap on that once to choose it. On doing that, the notification changes to confirm that it has been snoozed for one hour. If I tap on that message to expand it, I do have the option to change the length of time to snooze the message for. I'll change that to two hours. The notification will then disappear. Through the magic of video, we can now zip quickly through the next two hours. And you'll see that the original notification is then returned. If you wish, you can then choose to snooze the notification for a further period until you're ready to deal with it. I hope you found this Woggle Guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please do consider giving this video a like or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.